We continue to follow the fire tragedy in Arizona. 19 firefighters killed battling wildfires. It is a stark reminder that even the best trained responders get caught off guard by Mother Nature. Tonight, local firefighters are training to battle similar elements, and 10 TV's Kevin Landers has an inside look. Wildland firefighters admit they live in an unpredictable world where wind whipped flames can engulf them without warning. Okay, this is the fire shelter that we that we use on wildfire assignments. Aaron Kloss makes a living fighting wildfires. I think a lot of times, um, you know, unpredictable weather um, causes a lot of problematic fire behavior that that firefighters don't don't like dealing with sometimes. Everyone who fights wildfires carries a backpack like this one, and in the bottom is what's called a fire shelter. It's supposed to be deployed only in extreme circumstances, and fire crews are trained to deploy them within just 20 seconds. It's the size of a loaf of bread, and when it's deployed, it can mean the difference between life and death for a wildland firefighter. Once they're inside, they're trained to lay on their backs and, more importantly, make sure that all the corners are pinned down to keep all the hot gases out. It's the same kind of tent that the hotshot firefighters in Arizona deployed before they perished. It'd be a heck of a lot different trying to deploy one of these in a wildfire because the wind's going to be howling. Um, this is going to be flapping all over the place. Kloss admits he's never used a fire shelter during his career, but says he trains yearly on how to use them. It's a critical piece of, of our protective equipment. Like many, he says he wants to know why a group of highly trained firefighters like himself lost their lives in Arizona using a shelter designed to keep them alive. If you exit that shelter, you're not going to have a chance. If you stay in there, it might be scary and it might be painful, but you're going to have a much better chance of making it through. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Kloss says fire shelters are not fireproof, only fire resistant. He says firefighters are trained to stay inside those tents until those managing the fire give them the all clear.